Good day. Welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Today, just like to take care of a little business and just want to wish Jamaicans a happy 58th Independence Day. I remember Independence Day, August 6th, 1962, when I was just a little third grader. God bless Jamaica land we love and pray the blessings of the Almighty God upon the land of my birth. Also today would be my father's 104th birthday and happy birthday to star boy than I, my grandnephew whose birthday is today. God bless you. And the way of our lesson today, we'll talk about the sovereignty of God. God is sovereign. Isaiah 46 verse 9 through 11. And we'll also look at Daniel chapter 4 verse 35. Isaiah 46, reading from verse 9 through 11, it says, Remember the former things of long ago. I am God and there is no other. I am God and there is none like me. I make known the end from the beginning, from ancient times, what is still to come. I say my purpose will stand and I will do all that I please. From the east I summon a bird of prey from a far off land and a man to fulfill my purpose. What I have said that I will bring about what I have planned that I will do. As we speak of the sovereignty of God today. Daniel 4 and verse 35. All the people of the earth are regarded as nothing. He does as he pleases with the powers of heaven and the peoples of the earth. No one can hold back his hand or say to him, what have you done? In keeping with the attitudes or the character or the nature of God, we see that God is sovereign. So we say today, God reigns. God is supreme in power. He possesses supreme dominion over all the earth, the very universe that he created. He is superior to all other. He sits on the throne and he directs the affairs of things in the universe after his own counsel and will according to the scripture. And so today it's no less God is still on the throne and he reigns as God. He is king. He has all power, wisdom, and authority to do anything as he so chooses with his creation. He is in charge. Ephesians 1 and verse 11 tells us about that. He is in charge of the universe, not sometimes, but at all times. The sovereign God of heaven and earth has preordained, according to Ephesians 1 11, or he has planned, or he has purposed by his own counsel and by his own will what he wants to accomplish in the earth. So what is predestination or what has he preordained? Whatever he has predestined 
It is predestined beforehand. God has decreed certain things to take place that he will accomplish according to his will. What's purpose? God has decreed certain things to take place according to his purpose that he has previously set forth. What is his counsel? God has decreed certain things to take place according to his purpose which he has deliberately decided upon. What is his will? God will bring about by his action that which he has planned or preordained. So we say today that God is sovereign over everything. Whatsoever he pleases, the Bible says in Isaiah 46, verse 9 through 11, that he does. We also see in Psalm 115, verse 3, that God is God and he rules. He's supreme. He's able to do what he says he will do. God is sovereign in regards to their fears and the heart of men. Proverbs 21 and verse 1. Also Job 12 and verse 19. God's sovereignty does not violate man's responsibility nor the will of man. The ability that God has given man to choose. God is sovereign and therefore he cannot be accused of doing evil or making anyone do evil. James 1 verse 13. All creation or cre sorry, all creatures are responsible for their own sins. Acts 2 verse 23. We see sometimes that the sovereign God moves the restraint from evil in order to accomplish his purpose. Romans 9 verse 22. His will must be accomplished. Exodus 7 and verse 3. Exodus 8 and verse 15. And also Proverbs 16 and verse 4. God's purpose is good. The result of trusting in God will always be good for the believer. So the believer can trust the sovereignty of God knowing that his purpose will always be achieved and nothing can stop God's plan whether it's in history from working out according to his will. Romans 8 and verse 28 says, And we know that God caused everything to work together for the good of those who love him and those that are the called according to the purpose that he has for them. Ephesians 1 and verse 11 says, Furthermore, because we are united with Christ, we have received an inheritance from God. For he chose us in advance, and he has made everything work out according to his plan. The purpose of God are the most important reality in the life of a believer. Our new life in Christ's spirit is based on his purpose for us. And sometimes that includes suffering. Sometimes that includes difficulties in this life. But they also serve a purpose in the sovereign plan of the almighty God a part of God's sovereign plan is that despite the unworthiness of his creature 
he chose to love them and he chose to provide a way through his son jesus christ so that he may grant salvation unto those who would accept that love today jesus christ stands supreme we may not understand him we just cannot fathom him because he's infinite but he sits on the throne and he rules this universe in sovereignty because he is king and he reigns and he reigns out of a heart of love god bless you and thank you again for watching